Well, it might be the longest series in the history of Football Manager saves, but we are coming close to an end, and today we are on one of the biggest, if not the biggest episodes I've ever done in Football Manager on this channel. We have the first leg of the Europa League semi-final today, and the game against Rangers, the final game against Rangers this season, as we look to try and salvage something out of what has been a bit of an up and down season. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Football Manager. It's nice to see you, to see you. Bruce Forsyth is dead. Um, anyway, hello, welcome back. We're here, we're trying to carry on from what has been a bit of a weird season, as I said in the intro. We are going to be going a season without cups unless we manage to win the Europa League. And today, we have a chance to put that into action one bit closer. Um, here's the league table. We are all ultimately champions. I, I don't see any way in which we bottle this. However, we did not play well off screen. So um, since the last episode where we beat Ren in the quarterfinals of the Europa League, we beat Motherwell 3-0 at home. Good result. Fantastic. We international break followed. Then after the international break, we lost to Hibs. It was a robbery. I don't know if it'll let me look at the stats and show me on screen very quickly. It was a robbery. They, they, were, they were awful. We weren't great either. As you can see, I rotated heavily uh, just to ensure we didn't lose people for this semi-final. I was worried. I was like, no, I'm not even chancing it because today we take on Lazio in the semi-final of the Europa League. I don't even care about domestic football at this moment in time. It's the semi-final of the Europa League. It's huge. Uh, we have the chance to take on either... I've got such an itchy nose, by the way. Pardon me. Um, we've got a chance to take on either Man United or Arsenal in the final if we can get past Lazio, who have had a decent season in Serie A, I must say. They are very much in with a chance of winning the league. In fact, they've got a game in hand. If they win the game in hand, they go top of the table. So this is a good Lazio side. Um, let's have a look at their squad very quickly to see what we're dealing with. Who's had a, a good season and who's been the, the standout performers? That's what I would like to see in regards to their season. So, I mean, 24 goals straight away. Ciro Amubli, we know how good he can be. Luis Alberto's had a strong season as well with nine goals, 12 assists. They've got good players all around the squad. All you have to do is look down that list and you can see the names on it. They you know the, the, the fact that they've got all these players. This isn't going to be an easy semi-final. There was no such thing as an easy semi-final. There's been no such thing as an easy run in this competition, ultimately, because they possess quite a good team. Maurizio Sarri, of course, a good manager. Um, a winner of the Europa League, in fact. So, we've got the... You might say we've got the odds stacked against us. Um, so, we've just got to wait and see what happens. We are away from home first, which I like. Every round leading up to this, we've been home first. And it's made for a bit of squeaky bum time heading into the second leg. This time, I like the fact that we can maybe sit a wee bit more defensive, try and get something in Rome, and then when we go to Celtic Park, we can go for it and we can try and kill them off. Um, so we'll wait and see what happens. In between, we have got Rangers, though. We'll be playing those two games today in this episode, Lazio and Rangers at Ibrox. Um, the, the significant thing about that is if Rangers beat us, they would only be, what, six points behind us? Five points behind us? Which then makes for an exciting end to the season. Uh, and we've not won at Ibrox. We've been there twice already this season. We've lost both times. We need to win this time round, but we'll focus on that after this huge semi-final match. The good thing is, Josip Juranovic is nearly back from that very long injury he picked up, which I'm happy to see. Um, he is nine days away from being back from a fractured lower leg. So if we make it, if, big if, if we make it to the final, Juranovic should be fit for selection, which would be ideal, because he was having a great season up until that leg break. Um, so I would like it if he was available for that, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let's get to the team selection. Let's get to Rome. And let's get a semi-final tie started. I don't get nervous. I'm starting to get a little bit shaky. You know what I mean? Um, that was a dreadful Tom Skinner impression. Um, hello, welcome. We're here. It's match day. Um, that's the semi-finals of the Champions League, by the way. Interesting. Bayern and Barca, Juventus and Liverpool. Very interesting because Juventus in real life, not the greatest at the moment. Barcelona in the Europa League. Liverpool having a stinker, the only team in real life, Bayern Munich aren't even having that impressive a season right now, they are not running away with the Bundesliga the way they normally would be, so it's an interesting final four that Football Manager has conjured up for us here, um, I wonder who will win that, but it's all that matters is our final four, and I am nervous, I am shitting myself, I am going with this exact team, I 
pre-picked it, I knew exactly what I wanted to play going into this game. I think it's the team that gives us the best chance of winning. However, 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 I am tempted to play a little bit more defensively. I must admit. And I think that would be wise heading to the Olympico. But I don't want to regret it if I do play a wee bit defend more defensively and then it backfires you know what i mean i'm going to go for it i'm going to put mcgregor in as the, the defensive midfielder for this game just to give us that bit more stability try and keep out more goals because i've got pace that's the thing you look at this and, and immobile is just so so fast so if they get in behind we could be done for so having maybe mcgregor sitting in front of the, the center halves and, and just having that extra line of protection could be very useful to us here is the squads overall though as you can see they have the advantage as every team has in the europa league with the bench this season um but i'm confident in my boys we've done well to get to this point i mean i don't think any of us expected to get to the semi-finals of european competition in the first season but look the pressure's on we're winning no cups we don't want to end the season with only a league title. We want more, so we need to beat Lazio here. Um, let's just, yeah, let's let's say that. I'm not going to say anything else to them. Uh, we have to work hard. Yes, first goal will be crucial. Yes, yes, let's do this. Come on, play the... Oh, 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 oh. There you go. That's... I can't play the real thing because I'd, I'd get done for copyright. Anyway, Lazio surprisingly not playing five at the back. I thought that every Italian team in this game was programmed to play five at the back. So, they're playing the exact same shape as us. They're going for the defensive midfielder. Um, so, you know, it'll be interesting to see the match here between the two of us. Maurizio Sarri and me both having a snout on the touchline. But this is it. This is huge. This is a massive, massive game. The longer it stays 0-0 away from home, I will take... I would take a, a highlightless game. Nothing happened. Okay, do you know what? If we're getting a highlight, though, I'm not going to complain. Moy swings it in it is cleared we have won it no we've not so Anzebi's lost this is what I mean about Immobile getting in behind Johnson's had a howler Lovakovic has to make a big big save and that's what I mean what did I say pre-game about Immobile just getting in and, and beating the defenders we need to be cautious Johnson had a bit of a stinker there Lovakovic makes up for his mistake with a big big save Lazio have possession again it's a ball over the top once again for Immobile and this time he tries to chip Lovakovic from a Silly angle, really. Um, didn't think that that was necessary, but we've got off with one a wee bit there. It looks as though they've got an injury, which is good. Sakanyi, he's he's running low on fumes at the moment. It looks as though they're leaving him on, though. It's maybe till half time. But it has been a pretty boring first half, I must say. Will we see anything? We will. Oh, not right before half time. Oh, come on. Have some fucking compassion. Milinkovic Savic, don't bring him down. Swings at Alberto with some strike. <sighs> right on the brink of fucking half time. He scores a, a, a belter of a volley from just outside the box. That is a really good volley. If we watch it again, Milinkovic Savage, just so much control over Hitati. And look at this. That Lavakovic has to do better. You must say. You must say he has to do better than that. That is very poor from Lavakovic. But he must have got some power behind it. And half time. So that's you won Celtic now, which leaves it all on the line um, right now. Um, show me something else. I'm actually going to change it up. I'm going to go for a normal t tactic, a normal formation, because maybe we just do need that creativity. And McGregor being on a yellow gives me the fear, the absolute fear. And I'm going to give him instructions not to go into tackles. Ease off, can, I, can, can he ease off them, please? Just not let me do it. Okay, right. I'm just gonna have to just gonna have to let it be. Uh, in terms of subs, the only one that is really popping at me at half time would be Abada to come on, but I'm gonna give it 10, 15 minutes, giving it a change of shape and seeing what happens. But we need to be better. We didn't do much in that first half. We didn't really get a highlight, did we? It was it was quite boring up until that goal. Um but I would have rather it stayed boring than concede. Lazio seem to be getting the lion's share of possession at this moment in time. They play a pass down to Pedro, who's carrying an injury. Come on, don't let him cut inside if he's injured. I'll battle through for a Mobley. We're down 2-0. It goes from bad to worse. One right before half time and one right after half time. This is not great. This is not this is not good. Not good at all. Um, I think we've got to make some form of change, haven't we? Just try and spark something in the team. I'm going to bring on a badder for Aksabanovic. Um, and the only other one, Kyogo's done nothing. He's not been in the game at all. So I'm going to bring on Enesu now. 
And that's the two I'm going to... Do you know what? I'm actually going to bring on Matt O'Reilly as well. I'm going to make three changes. Matt O'Reilly's coming on for Hitati. I think O'Reilly might have been better starting this game. I just think he would defensively had something a little bit more than what Hitati brought to the table. But we can't afford to go and lose any more goals now. Like, we need to keep ourselves in this tie. And I think if we go three down, we're in a bad, bad position. It's a ball over for Krunic. Carter Vickers struggled there. Ball over a Mobley just over the bar. I'm thinking about changing back to the defensive midfielder tactic because I feel like Lazio have created a lot more in this second half and that might be down to us being a bit more open. But I really do want us to get a goal. Right, okay. 15 to go. I'm just going to try and protect it by going to the, the defensive mid. Yes, I've shot it. Fucking, I've shot it, okay? Right, I've shot it. Just leave me be. Uh, I'm going to move Transabi over to the right and I'm going to bring Starfield on because Johnson's knackered. And the lat I've got Garnacho who could maybe make a change. So I'm going to bring on Garnacho for Jota. It's it's literally the only thing I can think about doing now. Um, if we if we want to try and inject some life into the team, Garnacho can bring pace. But we've not created anything. As you see, we've we've not had a highlight. We've not had one highlight. It's a tough tough game against the, t the team. We're potentially going to win Serie A. Um, as we come to the closing stages of the game, it looks as though it's going to be a two 0 loss. There's a, oh, come on, Celtic, come on, this would be huge, this would be huge, huge, Moy, in, cleared, McGregor, shoot, son, don't shoot, oh, side netting, you bastard, oh, and that's full time, that would have been massive if we got that goal there, but it's a 2-0 loss, Lazio will take the first leg, we have got our work cut out for us at Celtic Park, we created nothing in that game, absolutely nothing nothing the goal right before half time look that look at the times we can see the goals that's the thing we kept ourselves in the game and i have faith we can do it at celtic park but it's so annoying because we can see right before half time and right after half time in case you're caring about champions league bayern look as though they're through still all up to grabs there rangers drop points again which if you were a rangers fan in this save you'd be i've not had a great season i've dropped points numerous times but every time i've dropped points they've dropped points if you're a Rangers fan, you'd be you'd be fuming. Um, but I know we've got a game against Rangers to turn our attention to. But we need to get the confidence up because look, listen, let's be real for a minute. My form at the moment is not great. This is our last what three, six, eight games. We've won three. That is that is shot. Granted, two of them are European games. Um, one of them was a semi-final against Rangers, but that's still shocking. We need a bit of confidence back in this team. We need to win at Ibrox for this next episode. It's our final derby of the season, and can I apologise to all of you who have followed this entire save. I've not had the greatest record against Rangers. We've won the two games at Celtic Park, we lost the game at Hamden, and we've lost both times we've went to Ibrox. This is the third time we've went to Ibrox. Right now, Rangers are doing better than us when it comes to derby games this season. Um, but this is a chance. If we win here, we are officially champions, I believe. If we win here at Ibrox today, which is huge. We'd love to win the title at Ibrox. So that's all the motivation we need. Um, the, the thing is, I've got games to worry about on Wednesday. And what's the priority? Winning here at Ibrox or beating Lazio? You know what I mean? So I'm going to have to have... I'm going to have a look and see what they're thinking. See, this is... I don't want to play this. This is what they think I should play. I'm going to, I'm going to use the suggested squad for a moment, right? So just for talking. See, that's the thing. Look at this. Two and Zebi and... Johnson are both knackered, but I'm going to go with two and Zebi. I actually am going to do it. Carter Vickers, maybe we are better given a rest. This is this is going to go tits up. I don't like the thought of making these changes. Abelgard, McGregor, O'Reilly. Do you know what I can actually live with that? Where is Moy? Moy is knackered. Hitati is not so knackered. Um, Jota, Kyogo in the left, and Unal up front. I'm actually going to play Jack and Marcus up front for now. And or should I play Kyogo? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Because Kyogo, I promised more minutes as well because he was unhappy for some reason. Hacks are bad of it just sitting on the fucking reserves. What's that about? Get on the bench. Fucking, where are you? Um, I might just go for Hacks and Jota again. You know that? Or I might even give a badder the nod. Where is a badder? Do you know what? A badder and Hacks are bad That's. I'm happy with that. I'm happy that defensively, not so much. Going forward, I'm happy with that. You can't ask for a much better team. So, fuck it. That's the team to take on Rangers at Ibrox. Hopefully, they're not all shattered for Wednesday's home game against Lazio, which will be in the next episode, obviously. There's the Rangers team. We've become used to it. It's the exact same one I think we've played every single time. 
both came up against them. But today, if we win the league, sorry, if we win the game, I'm pretty sure we win the league. That is literally all the motivation this team needs. That is it. To win the league at Ibrooks would be huge. Would be massive. They're going for the 4 2 3 1 as usual. Come on. We've not won a game at Ibrooks yet this season. We've not won at, at Derby. It's not been at Celtic Park this season. And the thing is, we've absolutely battered them at Celtic Park both times. I think it was 3 0 and 4 0. But yet we struggle so much when we're not at Celtic Park. Taylor, ball in. Great clearance. Joking. It was a terrible clearance. We have the ball. It's a bad eye. Swings it in for Haksimanovic. Come on. That's the start they wanted. See, ad son. Go on. Let's do this. Win in the league at Ibrox. You, you can't do it every year. You know, when you get the opportunity, you have to take it. That's why Sead's my man, because he realises that. It was a terrible clearance from Rangers. Abada, he swings it and He sees Hacks a benefit off the runner. Bra oh, br br brilliant. Bravo. Well done. Good. Love that. 1-0 to us. Eight minutes into the game. Rangers are scrambling. They've got two yellow cards in the space of a minute. They're panicking. Granted, we've only had one shot in target and it's at the back of the net. Um, but I'm not going to complain about that. I'll, I'll take it. Um, let's get another one. Let's add. Haxa swings it in. Jens can't beat Goldson. You can't beat Goldson to a header, can you? It's just, he's a cheap code when it comes to heading the ball. Um, here's O'Reilly. Come on, make it two. Goldson's been... Sorry, Lundstrom's been chasing down O'Reilly. Tries to put a tackle in. Good ball. Here's two Anzebi on the edge. Gets it in. Abada's there. It's 2 0. It was a bit of a mess. But it, is it offside? Oh, it's been chopped off. Oh, referee. SFA, innit? Can he, can he fucking put it by them? Course. Course. They'll go up and score now. There we go. Oh, brilliant interception from Tuan Zebi, by the way. Who's starting at right back. I don't think we've actually started him at right back before. I know I've, I know I've put him over to right back during a game. But I don't think I've started him there. But he's looking he's looking good. He's powering forward with the ball here. Here he is. Actual Tuan Zebi. Back to Moritz Jens. McGregor. That's a, that's a really good ball for Haxabanovic. That's a second of the game, say that, son. Go on! 2 0 up, half an hour in at Ibrooks. Have we finally broke the curse that I can't beat Rangers outside Celtic Park? Half an hour in, and Siad has carried an Ibrooks hat trick for Siad Haxavanovic would literally be the highlight of this channel's history. Please let it happen, FM, please. Tidy finish, though. We're up 2 0. Two, go two shots, two on target, two goals. If you're a Rangers fan, you'd be seething. Two and Zebby's gobbed, by the way. Uh, but he's been, pat he's been, you know, he's been having some game. He's been running up and down that right hand side, giving it his all. Um, we'll take him off at half time. Two 0 up. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Surely we're champions. I think at, at this moment in time, I need to work out in a moment. Let's get Alistair Johnson on. Just so to Anzebi isn't too burnt out heading into Wednesday because we do need them. Um, where is the why is the league table keep disappearing? League table, as it stands, we'd be a living clear, and they'd only have to yeah. We've won the league if we win this game. That's it. It's over as it stands. We are champions. We're about to win the league at Ibrox. Basically, the game that won us the league was the last time we beat them. But now this officially makes us champions if it stays like this. So uh, I'm pretty happy. We'll try and get one more before I make big wide scale changes to the, the team that's currently on the park because I want to preserve some energy heading into the game against Lazio on Wednesday. Here's Abada who's gone the wrong way but it's worked out for the best. Here's Jens, Abogard. Well, Abogard has put in a, a good shift for us this season. I must say he's been very useful but right now Rangers are going in the attack and Rangers have scored. Morelos. That's not good. They're back in the game. Still half an hour to play and I was really wanting and really needing to make changes. I'm going to have to make a couple because people are tired. Burnaby's knackered. McGregor's knackered. Abada's knackered. Hacks is knackered. So this is not great. I'm going to have to take off. I'm going to have to take off McGregor because I need him. I need him fit. Uh, Jota can come on and play on the, the right-hand side for now. I'm going to give Hacks a another 10 minutes before I make the final change and bring probably Garnacho onto the park. But this is the thing. Rangers now have opened up the game and give themselves a very good chance of stopping us winning and winning the league. They're making changes. They're a bit knackered as well, right? I'm going to make my final change. I'm going to... I know Hacks is on a double. It would be nice for him to get a hat trick, but we need them for Wednesday. So I'm going to bring on Garnacho on that left-hand side. Can we see this out? We have not been great. If you look at the stats, we've not been great. We've just took our chances. But that's what matters. That's the difference in these games, isn't it? It's whoever decides to turn up and take their chances. We are minutes away from being champions this season at Ibrooks. We're into stoppage time. I'll take it. 
Blow the fucking whistle, ref. Oh, my God. There's a highlight in the 94th minute. Or the, the, the 93rd minute, even. This is unbelievable. If they score... Now, does a draw win us the title? I, I think it does. I think a draw wins us the title as well, actually. Because they only have two games left. They would need to be within six points. But if we could get one more to finish it off and send them up the road greeting... Oh, I'd love that. Let's do that. Moritz Jens. It's a great ball, by the way, for Jota. That's a really good ball. Get it in. Get it in. Come on. Johnson, Hattati, O'Reilly. Finds Garnacho. That's a penalty. They've thrown it in. They've thrown the till into the ring. They've lost it. And here it comes. Georges Yakimakis for his contribution in this game. For a chance to seal the league title at Ibrooks, even though it's basically done. Can he just put the cherry on the cake? Rangers have lost it. It's Yakimakis. It's saved by John McLaughlin. <laughs> Wait, have we got another chance? No, we don't. It's safe. For fuck's sake. But it's the final whistle. Come on. Get it. Oh, <laughs> we're lifting the trophy at Ibrooks. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Imagine this. Imagine this happened in real life. It'd be fucking chaos. There would be death all over. Oh, go on, Callum, son. Lift the trophy. <laughs> We are champions, lads. We are champions. And just to rub salt in the wound, we have lifted the trophy. Ah, Ibrox, there you go. The fans have stayed too much. The Rangers fans have stayed. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There you go. There's your animation. There's us winning the league title. Um, Wow. We have just... We're, we're doing a lap of honour around Ibrox. This would end in the, the players would be dead, quite frankly. The fans have stayed for some reason, but there we go, a 2-1 win. We missed a penalty right at the end, which is the first time we've missed a penalty in ages, unlike real life. But there you go. Uh, well done, lads. Champions of Scotland, lifting the title at Ibrox. You can't quite get better than that, I suppose. Um, yes. What does it mean? What, do, what does it mean? Um, I, very nice. Um, I'm very, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm very, very happy. There you go. There's the league table. We have three games to play. I think the maximum amount of points we can finish on is 95, which is decent enough for me. I'll take that as the first year in charge. But Haksabanovic, the hero today, at Ibrox, um, and we win the league two in a row. Fantastic. Some money. Oh, look at. Oh, just. Yeah, uh, everybody's happy. The, the, the club are delighted. The fans are delighted. Oh, just absolutely tr tr tremendous. What a way to end the episode. So that does it. Uh, what a way to end the episode. Champions, love that. But next episode, we've got a mountain to climb. And it will be one of the last episodes, potentially, of this, this series. Um, so yeah, we've got Lazio, of course, at Celtic Park to see if we can make it to the Europa League final. And then we've got Motherwell in the league as well to just kind of round off the season and we'll see where we're going from there so we'll, we'll see what happens i hope we make it join me for the excitement that is the next episode i'm keeping the suspense going see you next time <laughs>